Hello. In this video, I'm going to show the X-Tool P2 laser engraver engraving on a curved surface. And to do that, we're going to make a birthday gift for someone with this inexpensive ukulele that I got on Amazon. We're going to engrave first along the curved edge of it. So the first thing I'm going to engrave on here is the design along this curved edge. And that's where we're going to see the P2 setup for engraving on a contoured edge. Because of the shape of this thing, I'm going to use a block of wood here and kind of kind of level out these two lobes of this thing. So before I forget, the way I adjust the height of the material being engraved is this base plate here. It's just a tray that slides in these different slots here. I raise it up as high as I can go without the piece interfering with the bottom of the laser head. Take this cover off, you can see the laser nozzle in there. So if I had it up one more notch, it would interfere. So dropped it down and set it there and made sure I was using the same slot on each side. They're numbered and that's where I put it. Cut a couple little shims here to see if we can make that level. That looks pretty good. So once we have that piece in there, we're going to open up Xtool Creative Space software. And first thing to do is drop this down and choose Curve Process. It'll run you through a little wizard that helps you get this set up. So when you click on Curve Measure, this little wizard opens up on your screen. And what it asks you to do is set the top left corner of the workspace that you want to engrave and the bottom right corner. It's called the, the Vertex 1 and Vertex 2. These arrows here will move the gantry and what you do is line up the laser dot on the top left corner and then on the bottom right corner. It's initially set to 100. So if we hit down and then go over to the right and see that little red line. You can change this then once you get close. Um, you can change it down to 10 and then move it over and then once you get really close you can set it down to one if you want and then fine tune it you want to keep it on the workspace okay that looks good for one so then you click on mark it remembers that spot and then it asks you to go to the lower right corner so we'll set it back to a hundred all right and we'll set it to 50. right and go down now we can set it back to one and get that right where we want it i'd say right about there so we'll mark that as vertex two and then when you click on next it gives you this grid and it comes up with the rows and columns based on the area that you define and you can change these if you need to, but I've had really good luck just leaving them with what it recommends. And once you hit start measuring, it'll move back to the top left and it'll measure each one of these dots that you see on the screen. It'll measure that point in the area that you've defined. And as it measures it, it turns green. So it's going to go through and do all of those. And then once it's done measuring, it gives you this little 3D rendering of that contour that you just mapped. And you can move it around, you can turn this grid off. See the shape that you've defined on the, on the surface. Then you click done and it gives you a box on your screen that represents that space. So you can then move your graphic into that area. So in this case, I'm going to grab this one called Banner, and then you can move it into the space that you want to integrate.
And then once you have it in position, you can click back on this little icon next to the curved measure. And by clicking on this map button, you can see, you can turn the grid off here, the hide grid, and you can kind of see what it's going to look like carved onto your So, then if you select the engraving, then you have the regular settings that you have that you've had with any engraving. Power settings, speed, the maximum speed for contour engraving is 100. I'm going to use that. Power is going to be about 15. And this is all dependent on the material you're engraving on, of course. So, once you have tested it on the similar material or the same material, you'll have these settings. I'm going to set this graphic to an engrave so it's solid. And once you have that set, engrave your power setting 15. Okay. Move back on me. Speed at 100 millimeters per second, one pass. And that's it. Then you hit process. Just like any other engraving job. And then start. So you can see how that engraved along that contour. Turned out really nice. Um, the next thing I want to do is put a design around this hole in the ukulele. And to do that, you need to raise the raise this tray up. And set it in there. It, since it's round, it really doesn't matter how it's oriented. Seems about right, and this, we'll go through the software, it'll measure this distance and set that all automatically. Okay, so now we're back to the Xtool Creative Space software. First thing we're gonna do is change from curve process to open plane. Open plane just means that we're using the open space of the P2, the slats aren't in and it's just sitting there on the tray. Um, first thing you want to do is measure the height of this. And if you click right here on this little plus sign, it'll say aimed measure. If you click on that, it gives you this little, little box, this little frame, and you can click anywhere. In our case, it doesn't matter because it's completely flat. Click somewhere on the material, and I'll click over here so it moves over, we can see it better. The gantry will come over, you'll see the red laser mark, take a measurement, and we came up with 13.3. So, next we want to get our graphic image and we want to put it around this little hole here. So to help us get that centered, we can click on this capture close view. That'll give us this little box with the camera and we can center it right over this hole. Click it and the gantry will come over and it'll use its second camera to take a close up picture of that hole and then you get this little inset, close view of that hole. Now we can grab our image, which is this circle, and then just size it to where we want it for this hole. Wanna make it just a little bigger than that hole is. I'm also gonna to remember to set this to engrave. A little bigger. If you hold control on the keyboard and then use the wheel, you can zoom in. That'll help give you a better shot at getting it where you want it. I think that looks about right. 
once you get that where you want it, we're going to set our power. In this case, I'm going to do five. And the speed, we're going to do the same as on the other one, 100 millimeters per second. 5% power, engrave. And then you just hit process and start. Okay, so that turned out nice. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is put a name here and another little graphic. This is a birthday present for a young girl. So I'm gonna put a name here. And then on the back of the neck, I think we're gonna put happy birthday and the year or something like that. So we'll get those done now and then we'll assemble it and do some final touches to it and that'll be it. So that's it. I don't pretend to know how to string these or tune them, but I uh, found a video on uh, YouTube and tuned it the best I could. And um, I think it turned out pretty nice. I think this will be a nice gift and um, not overly complicated little project. And the X-Tool P2 makes it really easy to decorate it, customize it in, uh, in however you want. And so there'll be some links in the description um, if you're interested in any of the X-Tool products, I'll put a link to this specific ukulele in the, in the description as well. And I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.